Hello everyone and welcome to a snowy Yosemite Valley. Today I'm giving you finally a little update on this project and I know it's been a while, um, there has been a reason for that. I wanted to hand this over to someone but yeah it turned out that because uh, stress and you know sickness and all these kind of things came into the way so it never happened and today we're going to discuss how it is going to go on. Now first things first and this might be the best information for every one of you this is going to be released on Christmas Eve for all of you, um, no matter what the status is. I decided to do a version 1.0 um, on this date. The reason for, for my decision now is that I will most likely continue this project and there are several reasons for that. So with the upcoming update and the DLC we have even more things that need to be added or that needed to be added into this project simply because there are just too many good things and um, we can just switch over here. You can see there are two buses standing over here and yeah, guess what? They can be replaced with an actual bus now um, that is actually acting even as a wonderful spawner, which is what I'm going to do, obviously. Um, then we are going to have uh, so many other things, like the animals. Like, look at look at the statue. Like, look at just at the statue here. And you can see a follow deer over there. And this follow deer is now finally available in the game. I'm still confused to why this has always been a statue because it's so reminiscent of Zeus but then just leave it out like loud I guess um, but yeah we will do this and um, again there are so many changes to the game especially restaurants and open box um, you know let me just show you this thing over here look this is a wonderful pavilion I could never use guess what we can now make this thing pretty much usable with the update we can just put a box less um, shop in here and there you go uh, in fact I can even put two in here to make this look as if multiple people work in there it's like mind-blowing how much you can just use um, already existing things I'm just hoping that the the size will fit but I'm, I'm guessing that should f pretty much fit um, so yeah, this is this is incredible. I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, as you can see over here, I'm going to remake also these styles. They are obviously, you know, tr I try to at least do them in a way that they look as free as possible. But now, well, we can make them look a lot more free. So I'm going to make them a bit more open, make them almost look like a little cozy Christmas uh, village style thing. And obviously we are going to use a lot more of the new pieces that will come with the European pack because I think they will still be very likely to fit pretty, pretty dang good into this park as well. Now let's fly over real quick into also uh, the snow is uh, meant to be here for a little Christmas vibes. Okay, let's fly over here into the uh, cat area so this is what we've done lately so we have got the siberian tiger area with the new diving area which i'm still a big fan of that when we are down here we can see the water in which they can dive and on the other side we've got the snow leopard also like the fact that the snow is a lot less when you're standing below here because it's just going through these things i'm i'm such a big fan still of the snow effects and i don't know why we use them so little um that that I decided to just make this episode now completely in snow. Obviously, one thing is that we used to have a lynx habitat in here, which was most likely, I think it, it was just that area here. And <laughs> we decided against it because I wanted to give this to you as an unmodded park. Now, as we do have this as an official animal in the upcoming DLC, <sighs> Well, 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 I could have just done that, but um, I'm a lot more happy with the cougar habitat. So not gonna lie, this is a change that I'm still standing well behind. Um, that that we still have some space available. Now this is the uh, fox area. I think it is the wonderful Arctic fox area, right? And I'm, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to reuse and repurpose that once again into a lynx habitat and take this little fox and bring this fox over and I'm just going to fly all the way in another area which I am absolutely not happy with and the more I thought about this the more I I kind of felt that this has to be changed now what I'm talking about is our wolf area and you can see this is the waterfall we have here I have to even go a lot closer so you can see the waterfall this is where it comes down I have had a lot of uh, comments about this one and these comments were absolutely legit and uh, I guess I have to do that and just change the waterfall a little bit but also I want to utilize this overall space here that Mr. Haribo did in a way better fashion um, I am 
awfully in love with this little waterfall area over here and I think this would make a very very good uh, habitat for the little fox and I'm even thinking about making a little bit of a um, concrete pathway that goes all the way here to have a viewing of these little things. That means obviously that we also have to decrease the size of the wolf habitat but uh, you know to, to be fair, this is gigantic anyway, so I'm I'm more than happy with having them stay more over here on the left hand side anyway, so that is basically what we need to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of this area in a way, but it's just too big and it just takes too much away from the potential of the zoo here. And also, um, speaking of potential, it's not really that exciting for the people to go here because there is just like, we have the reindeer habitat in here, that's nice. We have the beaver now pretty new in here and we also have a peafowl roaming around, but that's about it. If you compare that to all the other animals in this zoo, that is quite obvious that this is not the most famous area for the people to live in uh, or to well not live in but to go to 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 see some animals hence they wouldn't but uh, adding another little fox here um, makes a lot of sense uh, the arctic fox as you can see by the way there's one wolf coming over but you know I think it's not going to be too sad to not have that area so that is one thing we need to do and I'm gonna fly over and I'm going to go to one of my biggest pain points uh, still and that is this cozy little area over here and you can imagine that this was one of these things that I built later on and copied over some buildings and I think to myself what a wonderful idea <laughs> um, to make this into our restaurant area and I think this is one big project that is going to work out pretty well because I'm still not entirely happy with this area anyways um, the Cayman cave is pretty cool but it really does not have enough uh, things going on around it. So I'm willing to put a very nice restaurant area here, utilizing a lot of these beautiful new European pieces, making this uh, a very nice little Christmas market, or like not Christmas market, this is what we have at the entrance, but maybe like an open uh, air restaurant kind of thing. Speaking of restaurants, we have to go once further and that is into our actual restaurant area that we already have. And this is going to be a pretty simple one because we do have this building and the building should be big enough to allow the restaurant to be placed in here and just in fact replace the buildings that are in there at this point. Um, and then we can use this one simply as a restaurant piece and um, yeah, have the people use this as a proper restaurant because we can just clearly take all these tables away or like anyways, we could hopefully connect them. There's going to be the autosave here. Hell, this is uh, the loading times, by the way, are also ridiculous. The performance is okay-ish, as you can see, but it's not amazing. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the biggest points I'm going to change. Look at the bisons being over here. I very rarely see them being over here. Maybe that's because of the snow. I don't know. Let me just go quickly into the domes. Um, there should be now. Yeah, I like that. I like the fact that you have no snow whatsoever in here. The haziness is still kind of cool that you do have that. It fits to the weather and so. Um, but yeah, where are my orangutans, by the way? Are they all down there again, as always? All in here? Uh, what the... What? What are you doing here? Why is there fish? And why is there a seal? I mean, it's, it's, it's a very good looking seal though, but... Huh? I'm awfully confused to why in the orangutan habitat there is... Okay, there are the orangutans still sitting down here all the way. Drinking, petting itself and, you know, just just chilling and doing stuff i guess that is weird okay i'm not questioning it too much let's go over to our performance killers the uh, capuchin monkeys where are you guys are you doing your stuff or where are you chilling oh, they're all chilling down here with the water look i'm wondering why they're all chilling in here anyways let's zoom out a little so you guys <laughs> can't see that much go um but yeah so a couple of things need to be addressed um, in this project and as you can tell from this little overview there is absolutely no way that I'm going to make this until the 24th of December. So what I'm going to do is in fact I'm just cleaning up a little bit here and there making maybe the lynx habitat is definitely something I'm probably doing. Uh, that, is, uh, that is my target. But other than that 
maybe a restaurant and that's about it. I think this is going to be the release for the 24th and then we have to actually see what else can we do and I can already announce this in here for those of you who love the content and you're still being supportive all the way. Um, I'm going to start a little something for the uh, winter times. So utilizing the European DLC, I'm going to build a little special. Um, not going to say exactly what it is, but it's going to be obviously Europe located um, very close to me here. Uh, in my in my actual life, you know, uh, and doing something hopefully pretty cozy for the winter days. That is going to be the focus. So Yosemite is going to receive a couple of episodes, a big release then for all of you, making a nice little trailer, hopefully. And then uh, you can download this yourself and melt your computer. Or if your heating costs are too high, you can just utilize this, let it run the whole day. And then it uh, your computer is going to heat the whole flat i'm quite sure about that <laughs> so uh yeah thank you guys uh, so much as always for your ongoing support i know lately there hasn't been too much planet zoo but i hope you can understand because of so much going on um and the the, the little void before each dlc is pre pretty much obvious as well so yeah we are back to business uh, pretty soon so thank you so much and uh, i hope you guys are having a beautiful weekend i hope you guys enjoy your time stay safe everyone Thank you so much for your support. If you like the content, haven't subscribed yet, you know, you can always do that. That's, that's the easiest way to support me. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Stay safe and goodbye.